120 pounds down this morning. I'm on my way to uh, go take my dad to work and start my errands and out of celebration for losing 120 pounds. Oh my God, I've been working so hard. I'm finally in the 30s now. So it's battle of the 30s this month. But in honor of that, I am going to take you on a vlog with me today. So follow me. Seriously, the truck is completely covered in pollen. Like, this is why I woke up with the headache. I had to clean it off the windows. Poor baby. That's why he's all sneezing too. It's like covered. To eat to me to go get our fish. <laughs> you gonna drive? You gonna drive? Here we go. Steer it right. There you go. <laughs> Since my kiddos won't eat fish, they'll eat shrimp. I do love tilapia. Now, which seasoning? <laughs> Black and seasoning, and then we can squirt some lemon juice on it. Definitely not gonna do catfish. Definitely don't have enough for salmon. <laughs> Actually, you know what, we might be able to. But my husband doesn't like salmon. So, I guess we'll go ahead and do the black end. Is this one okay? Is this one okay? Yeah. Yeah, I know. You're like your sister and brother. Not too hot about it. We're going to go ahead and get two because I shall be feeding my dad. It's evening to you. Doing fish tacos. Yeah. We gotta get our corn tortillas. Let's see which one. I think this one too. Probably get the dirty. Here we are, guys. It's looking better and better. Like, my back is looking amazing. I hate those little lines on the, the thing. But, I mean, the bathing suit's getting looser and looser so it's getting harder to try it on but I'm gonna post pictures and stuff on my Facebook and Instagram so if you haven't followed me there yet follow me um, Matilda Marie on Facebook and I believe it's Matilda Marie on my Instagram too so but I'll link those below and I have a Twitter too so um, Yes, I'm pretty excited. 239 today. Super excited. I've got 39 more pounds to go uh, to hit my main goal. And then um, about 59 more pounds to go to hit my ultimate goal. And that's where I'll stay at 180 and just maintain from there. So, yay! Oh, by the way, I got my nails done, and I super love them. Super love them. So, I'm just like this, like, all the time right now. Because the only people that get to see my nails are me, y'all, and the gym. And that's it. That's it. And they're pretty durable, too, because I smashed them, like, five times in the freaking weights yesterday. So... Uh, it is super awkward to record at uh, the gym, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, maybe if my husband gets time and I'm doing some workouts at, at the end, I'll have him do that. Or maybe on a Saturday, I'll go ahead and see if my sister will come with me and record for me. So, we shall see. <laughs> making shish kebabs. We went ahead and peeled them. The kids were helping. Aiden helped and Avalyn. So we peeled our shrimp. 
And then we're going to put them on skewers. And yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to make a coleslaw out of red cabbage. So it'll probably only be me and my husband eating this. So, Okay, since I do not like vinegar, I'm going to add lemon juice. About half the thing. And then I'm going to add my pepper. I love pepper, guys, so I over pepper everything, I think. And then just about two tablespoons or so of mayonnaise because we don't want those that, that much fat in there, but we want the flavor. Now, I don't know about y'all, but we love some cucumbers. So just chop up some cucumbers and I'm um, splashing it with some lemon. You'll see the kind of that's why I got the blackened fish, the blackened seasoned fish, because a lot of the sides are going to be kind of like a, a fresh lemony zest. So that's how we do it. And except for, of course, we're going to have this, the quinoa and brown rice. Um, I love these guys just because you can steam them. And uh, I get like when I make my... Uh, what is it? My healthier fried rice. I use this. Uh, my brother-in-law is amazing. He introduced me to these things and I love them. They're so convenient and being a mom I, and on the go all the time, it's just easier to do this, you know, and I mean, you're still getting the same benefits, same good carbs. So, Okay, so I always say this, but be sure your pan is hot. Do not put your fish or anything down. Now, mine's a non-stick, so if you don't have that, put them all down. If not, then just laying them down like this is going to be fine. You want to hear that sizzle as soon as you put it down. You don't want it burning, but you want that sizzle. Alright, and just let them go for about, mm, let's see, about four to five minutes on each side have one of these at home that's great just set it down on your stove we're gonna go ahead and use some olive oil spray uh, because this isn't completely and we're gonna be putting our okay be smarter than this Matilda oh shit okay don't spray it like that like I just did but whatever spray that down because your shrimp will stick so please please be sure that you soak your skewers I know it's not on a pit, but I always want to make sure that they're not going to catch fire. <laughs> and put them at an angle, so that way they get that pretty little grill mark on them. When your food is pretty, you want to eat it, even if it's diet food. And yes, it is about four, four minutes on each side. So let this go for another four minutes, and then we're going to wrap it up in some foil and put them in the oven on low guys okay because you don't want to overcook them i just added my butter so you can go ahead and add your butter i like to cook them a little bit then add my butter and now i just add a little bit of pepper on top make them nice and pretty and our fish is ready to come off shrimp guys doesn't take more it should not even be on the thing for about 10 minutes as soon as you're done with your fish and like I've wrapped them up in little foils just so they stay nice and warm for my husband when he gets home uh, as soon as your fish is done your shrimp is done do not dry them out all right YouTube thank you so much for uh, tuning in today and celebrating my 120 pound laws uh hope y'all enjoy this recipe if you like fish uh it's quick and easy so if you need a meal prep <laughs> if you need a meal prep okay if you need to meal prep fish is probably one of the easiest things to do i literally got done cooking and prepping i want to say within an hour so 30 minutes you're done uh, you can sit at the table and just eat. If you have steamable broccoli or vegetables, Arch is telling y'all too, you can do it. Tell them you can do it. 
You can do it. Thanks again, guys. Subscribe, like, and I will see y'all on my next video. Can you say bye, Archer? Can you say bye? Bye.